Hey everybody, this is Jeff, a.k.a. Slinger, and of course... Case 1320. And we are coming at you again with another Dual Juice review. Uh, today, Case, uh, we're going to be doing uh, Pineapple Milkshake and Brandy. Um, peach Brandy, actually, right? Peach Brandy, yes. Yep. All right, so this is brought to you by Kokomo Pure Vapors of Kokomo, Indiana. Um, I will say right from the bat that me and Case did not pay for these. No. Um, they were sent over for review purposes. Yes. And I'm sorry that it took us so long, but, you know, with Vape Fest, Vape Bash, I was backed up and, you know, everything going on. We did not get a chance to review these yet. So let's uh, let's start off with this uh, peach brandy, bro. What do you think? All right. Well, let's get a quick hit. Well, we'll talk about the flavor in a couple seconds. I know you like to cover like throat hit and uh, vapor production first. Vapor production is awesome on it. I'm not sure of the mix, um, what the blend of PG VG is. I'm gonna say 50 50, but that would be a total guess. Um, but yeah, vapor's great. I am with you on the vapor production, I think it's a very good vapor production. Um, I'm guessing it's 50 50 because it doesn't say. So uh, that's the one thing. These are pretty cool bottles. They're uh, like blue glass bottles, which helps out with uh, sunlight against nicotine, right? Right, right. Um, they come with like eyedropper style things. Uh, some people, it's a hit or a miss for some people. I actually like these bottles. Yeah, I, I like the bottles also. Okay, so I'm going to drip some more in here. Please, people, don't mind my hands. Uh, we actually just stopped me from modding to do this review. Um, like I said, but uh, that being said, we're going to do the best job we can. Right. All right, so um, vapor production, we're saying it's good. 50-50, probably more than likely. Like the glass bottles, like the dripper. Mm. Let's move on to throat hit. Um, well, I was thinking being that it was an alcohol vape, you know, you think brandy, you think, okay, it's going to have a really, really super strong throat hit. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that the throat hit was really not that strong. It's strong, but very tolerable, not, you know, it doesn't feel like you're getting kicked in the throat or anything. Um, so I would say the throat hit is also a win. Right, and I'll call it a warmth. Um, uh -huh. The alcohol uh, flavoring does give it a warmth, um, not a super kick. Uh, 16 milligrams is definitely higher than what me and you both vape. Right, it um, is. But for review purposes, we are vaping 16 milligram. And um, I will say it's a nice warm inhale, and I, I like it. I'd give it a 6 on a scale of uh, 1 to 10 throat hit. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with you on that. Mm. Mm. All right. So last but not least, taste. Is the flavor. Yeah. Okay, the first thing, I've had several brandy vapes before. Uh, I've also tried his blackberry brandy, which is completely awesome. The peach brandy, I am not a big fan of peach. I, I've made that known in a couple reviews. I'm not a huge peach guy. I will say, this peach is pretty damn good. It's, it's not that candy, ech, peach. It's almost like you grabbed a peach off a tree and started eating it. It's that nice, bright taste. Um, very good peach flavor. The brandy itself, it's it's pretty much spot on. It's, it's a really good vape. Excellent. I think it's a great tasting vape myself. Um, I'm not an alcohol vapor. Uh, I was kind of like, what, what are you doing here when he sent over the peach brandy? Um, but I will say that this is an excellent peach brandy and I do love it very much yeah yeah I would totally agree with that okay so next up uh, we're gonna be uh, doing pineapple milkshake from Kokomo pure vapors let me switch my cardo out I'm gonna put a few more drops in my drip tip all right yeah. I'm gonna be doing this one on a 306 the last one I actually have in a tank this one I am gonna be doing on a 306 on a DCA which I will be reviewing shortly I need to uh, address a comment that was made on Jeff's DCA video, perhaps. Maybe. I I remember no such thing, <laughs> my friend. Okay. 
Vape on and vape hog. <laughs> exactly. Mm. By the way, this this review is also being simulcasted. I think we kicked off Jeff uh, from his show, and we're broadcasting <laughs> and recording. So wave Are high. You serious? Yeah, wave high to everybody. <laughs> hey guys, oh, check out our YouTube yeah. channel. <laughs> so yeah, mine too. yeah i accidentally uh just hit the i i think uh no it's okay no it's it's not we're good we're good let's go all right so um this is a pineapple milkshake right here um i have a hard time with the pineapples i cannot i have a thing with my uh throat just seizing up right. um as soon as i try it now that being said yeah, apparently Kokomo's trying to kill you. Yes, yes. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. So I'm not going to be inhaling this, and we'll just say the throat hit is killer for me. Um, so let's move on to taste. <laughs> yeah, the throat hit is really bad for you, yes. Uh, the, the, the throat hit, I will say, the throat hit is pretty much the exact same as the, the brandy. Maybe a tiny bit less, but not a whole lot less. Um, vapor production is exactly the same as the last one. Um, in my opinion. Which... All right. Vapor production. I'm with you on that. Vapor production is good. Uh, throat hit, obviously killer for me because I can't inhale it or I'll start <laughs> hacking. And I, I'm not going to do that for the video this time. But I, I will say the taste is pretty good from what, you know, I get. The taste mm -hmm. is good. Uh, what kind of pineapple milkshake do you get? Is it just pineapple or is there a milkshake? Cause... I, I, okay, this one. this one's a little harder as far as taste. The pineapple flavor is good. It is a little bit of that candied pineapple. I will say, in all honesty, I'm not getting a whole lot of the milkshake. Yeah, I agree. I'm not getting, for me, I'm not getting milkshake. I am getting pineapple, more like pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's still good. It's definitely a good vape. Um, if you are like me, you can't vape it. But taste-wise, it's good. Vapor production is good. And for most people, it's probably uh, a really good uh, vape. Yeah, this one here, I would say, if you're looking for a pineapple, by all means, run out and get this. Because it is it is a very good pineapple taste. If you are looking for a creamy pineapple milkshake type, I'm not getting it. Personally, I'm not getting it. Uh, again, it's a good vape. It's a great pineapple vape. It's not a milkshake vape, in my opinion. Um, but, you know what I mean? Everybody's <coughs> different taste is subjective. You may get it and say... What the hell is he talking about? I get lots of milkshake out of it. So, you know, you never know. Right, but, right. Uh, so, anyways, um, I, I say uh, both of them are pretty decent juices. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get pineapple milkshake. I get pineapple juice. Um, you know, I don't know how, how you would mix pineapple milkshake. I think you do because you've done it before. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it's, you know... It, again, taste is subjective, you know, and it's at the end of the day, it's a great pineapple vape, whether it be milkshake or not. Pineapple is still pineapple, and you're still going to get that good, juicy pineapple taste. So, um, yeah, you know. All right, so that about wraps it up. Mm -hmm. Everybody, thanks for watching our video. Uh, Kokomo Pure Vapors, thank you. Check out the uh, links underneath. I'm going to link uh, Case 1320's YouTube as always and Kokomo Pure Vapors, and everybody vape on and vape hard. You want to sum this up, Case? Check them out. Peach Brandy, total win in my opinion. Um, pineapple Milkshake, a little under it, but the, the star of this review was definitely the, the Peach Brandy. Uh, check them out, www.kokomopurevapors.com. Like Jeff said, the links will be below, and I will also, in my YouTube, I will link Jeff's YouTube. So. Go check them both out. If you're not subscribed, do so, damn it. And we out of here.